Hello, this is Kenneth Breaker for Breaker Gaming. Today we're going to go, I'm going to take you around and show you the Ouya uh, user interface. Um, if you're new to Ouya or if uh, you're wondering about what it actually looks like, uh, I'm going to take you through that now. Now, I actually did a factory reset, so um, in theory, uh, this is exactly, you should see this exactly on your screen when you first turn on the Ouya. Um, I'm not sure um, if I'll have to do an update. When I when I first got my Ouya, I had to do a, a update and it was fairly large. Um, I'm not sure if the if, if uh, by doing the factory reset, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm not sure if it factory resets to the most recent updates or if I have to re-download. So let's get to it. Uh, it's, as you can see, it says I uh, press until only two middle lights blink in to begin pairing. All right, so I'm holding down that Ouya button. Okay, I got those two lights. Okay, they're blinking. I guess it's still trying to pair. Let's see. All right, it looks like it's connected now. I'm going to choose English. It's going to search for my Wi Fi network. I actually have a um, an extra keyboard laying around, so I can I actually plug that into the USB port on um, into the, the back of the Ouya, and it actually works. So I'm going to use that right now. Um, I'm going to type in my password. All right, we are connected. Um, let's make a new, oops. Make a new account. Like I said, I have my, as the, the latest um, in terms of use. Okay, just finished uh, entering my uh, credit card information, and we are, I guess we're all done. We're uh, to the main Ouya menu. Now, when the first, when the Ouya, um, when I first got my Ouya, um, the screen didn't actually look like this. Uh, as you can see, there's games, preview key art for uh, the games when I first bought my Ouya it did not look like this so when you if you get your Ouya depending on how old or how long it was in the store it most likely will not look like this um, if it doesn't update but when you as soon as you update it should look look like this and this is um, the fall 2000 um, interface now, as you can see, you, you have play, discover, make, and manage. Um, play, uh, as you can see, that's the area where you're going to uh, see the games that you downloaded. As you can see, uh, it's empty, so it says time to fill her up. Rumi in here, right? That's because you haven't picked up any games yet. You'll find them over in discover, then come back here to get into action. 
so that automatically uh, what do you call it? the discover menu but if you press the red button or the a button uh take you right it, it will take you right back to the main menu all right so let's go to discover now at the top you see featured and i guess this is it's pretty much self-explanatory it's featured games um, use the directional pad or an analog pad left pad or analog stick uh and move left to right move left to right as you can see and that's the biggest of the tiles second is trending now pretty sure that's like the latest trending games as you can see the key art or the game art it's um as you can see pops in so it's actually loading it's loading kind of slow but i mean it's downloading from the um now it's uh genres uh let's take a look at adventures fairly larger number of um games not sure how many are good now while we're in the um I thought that loaded first. I'll go back over here. Let's see. Actually, kind of get gets rid of it. Mm. Um. Let's download a game real quick. I don't see any. Um, uh, all ages. I'm pretty sure this is, again, self-explanatory. All ages. Apps. Uh, self-explanatory again. Arcade. Casino card slash casino only two. Dual stick fight, uh, I guess for fighting games. First person shooter. Doesn't look as like platformers. play with with uh friends i guess uh this is the multiplayer section puzzles slash trivia racing Once you select a game with the O button, you press up, you can see the screenshots. And as you can see, it says download for Knight Riders is complete. Install for Knight Riders is complete. You can see a little mess message uh, there at the bottom. That's that's new. 
uh, when I first got the Ouya, or before, I guess, the most recent update, or the current update, uh, that did not show. Um, if you press, if you go up here to the, uh, the screenshots and press the O button, you get a full screen and just toggle left and right, which is kind of nice. Um, once you're finished downloading, uh, right below the description, it'll, it will say play now. Um, there's a thumbs up button. More info. More info. And there's a remove button. So when you want to delete it, let's go back out. Now the games that you download, uh, you can see a play button. And if you look down, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the Ouya buttons, um, launch, details, search, and back. Um, if you press the O button, it will take you right into the game. If you press the U button, it will take you right back there. Let's see, search. For the search, um... For some reason, the keyboard isn't popping up. Maybe it's because I have a, a keyboard already plugged in. Try that out later. Um, I think that's it for genres. Oh, no. Hmm. Racing, retro. I think you guys get pretty much the idea. Role playing, short on time, strat sim, last strategy, and sports. Uh, play like bald, I think. Bald. Um, I think this is one of the Ouya developers creators or co-founders i think and this is just uh i guess one of his favorites i could be wrong that's what i'm guessing um another world i think this is um i think there's a game called another world yeah i think maybe that that's their the creators playlist Let's see, watch and listen. Uh, apps. Our founders, the true believers. Just another playlist of, I guess, their favorites or. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, this one. Hmm. Kind of weird looking. Um, escapist artist uh, from Sandbox. I guess these are Sandbox 8 games. Only on the, only on uh, Ouya, I guess. Games only for the Ouya. Which I'm not sure if that's 100% true. Polarity, I think that's... Another platform, I could be wrong. Let's download this clock app. It's one of my favorite apps for some reason. Sandbox. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the bottom. Um, okay. Uh, again, if you look at the bottom, it'll say details, free, free download. Um, I'm not sure why it says free download because before it didn't, it just said download before if I, if I remember correctly, because all of these are free downloads. You know, I don't think you need to say free download because they're all free download. You could just say download. Uh, well, I guess the ones that you're downloading are you you already own or doesn't say free download. Okay. Um, 
So at the bottom again is details, free download, search, and back. And this is a new edition. Um, you click the the right thumbstick, which is uh, I guess the third button, R three. There is a bury feature, and what that lets you that lets you do is I guess hide or I guess move a certain game to the back that you're not interested in. It's a good one. Let's see. What's a good one? All right, whatever. Uh, let's uh, try this one, Solitary Classic. I'm gonna click the right thumbstick. As you can see, it disappears. I believe it moves to the back. That's pretty... Um... Wow. All right, uh... sorry, Flickster. All right, as you can see, it just moves it to the back. Again, uh, went back. Hmm. All right, so you can get rid of those undesirable games that you, you're sick of looking at like that. That's a new feature, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see, let's go back. Um, I guess your most recent games. Yeah, I didn't notice this. Uh, most recent and must play. Look at this game real quick. Player. And this is one of the Ouya games. This is actually kind of decent. For a second there, I was like, oh my god. Pretty bad. This, this looks like, uh, this reminds me of a Sega game. I forgot what that's called. If you know what that, if you know what it's called, uh, just leave it in the comments. All right, well that's enough of that. Now, to exit the game, uh, you have to uh, press the Ouya button, which is in the center. The U button. Press that twice, and that drags you out the game to the main menu. All right. Uh, so we saw play. play it's just um it's still downloading that's your game discover all right now let's go to make hold tight just a second this area is for those brave souls who dare to dream and develop their own games from here you can also add unofficial games and apps commonly referred as side loading to your ouya hmm i actually did not realize that you I knew that you can sideload games and apps, but I didn't know that it was kind of supported. All right, let's see builds. Um, I guess this is for developers that, I guess, maybe games or builds that are already uploaded or whatnot. Um, software, this is um, actually, you, you can actually, uh, download uh, your a APK files from the internet 
that's why I use this for. There's a browser right here. If you press the Ouya button, you get a menu, bookmarks, save, save to bookmark, so you can actually save this current page, share. Never tried share before. For devices. Oh, Bluetooth. All right, hit that button again, page. Just a standard browser. Not too great, not too bad. Let's go back to make. Um, so if you're making Ouya games, uh, it seems very bare, and it is, um, but this is what you're going to be using to download and I guess launch your apps. All right, now let's go to manage. Now here, you can see there's account, controllers, network, notifications, and system. Um, I think I'm just, let's check out account. There's your account information. Payments, parental controls. Um, I guess you can go there and if you want to lock out your children for some reason because the Ouya is going to corrupt their morals, you could do it from there. All right, controllers. I've never actually been in there, but okay. For already paired controllers, simply press blah, blah, blah to connect. All right. Notifications. There are no notifications. I've noticed when I connected my Ouya to connect a USB or connected my Ouya to my computer. I guess there's like a notifications that actually pops up here. I'm not sure if any other notifications pop up. I guess if console info, I'm not going to show you that language, you change your language. Languages, English, Dutch, France, French, Espanol, and Italiano. System updates, checking for updates. I hope there's no update. Your console is up to date. So when you do the factory reset, which which is what I did, it guess I guess it ref, uh, resets to the, the latest um, we got update. Let's see, advanced. You want to go here. I guess these are your. This is your standard. Ouya advanced. Excuse me. Your standard Android settings. Um, I'm not an Android user, but I'm. Pre I, I. If you're an Android user, you're probably going. Sweet. Let's see Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ouya controller. Hmm, picks up a uh, install for Shuttle Rush is complete. Roku player, data usage, VPN, sound, see volume. Default notification beatbox. Hmm. I don't know. Touch sounds. Screen lock sound. HDMI. Don't know. Enabled. 
This is 3D, I guess. You know. no displays, turn off device. Blah, 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 blah. I think you care about that. Let's see, storage. You want to come here. If you down, when you download something from the make menu, you know, when you want to download your app, your APK file that you created, um, you come in here and there's going to be a folder or a selection that says download it, I believe. You go in there and you find your app. You click on it. It's going to say install or something. And that's how you install your apps that you download yourself. Or your, your, your site loaded app. Um, let's see. Apps. Downloaded apps. Let's see. Ouya Clock. Night Riders. Running the current running apps. All self-explanatory personal location access security and I guess that's it. I believe that's everything. That's everything in the menu for the Ouya. Um Let's check out this game real quick. It's cheesy. Mm. Oh. Kind of looks like a sweet game. Um, as far as my opinions on, I guess, the Ouya interface, um, I think it's pretty decent. Um, I, I I especially like this update, like right here. Like I said, when the when I first got my Ouya, the current um, version didn't have these. Uh, key art and I think it actually looks better with with it as far as the interface um, it's it's kind of slow a little clunky as you can see the images you go into the, um, the genres as you can see the images they actually take a little bit of time to populate but I mean I guess that's my internet connection or you know thing they just it stuff just it needs to down to download um I think it's a fairly decent um um like these play I guess these are like playlists um these genres this was actually actually at all all the way at the bottom and a lot of people were cl complaining about that and they actually moved it up which was um a good idea see you can also use the trigger buttons left and right as you can see scroll through pretty quick like I said there's uh, notifications um, and I think that's pretty much it for the Ouya, uh, interface overview make sure you hit the subscribe button check back um, I think I'm going to give a full 
review of the Ouya pretty soon. So check back for that. And make sure you visit us back at Breaker Gaming.